Man, let me tell y'all, man, I've been trying to record this video for at least about a month and a half. I don't know why I can't get myself restarted. But uh, yeah, I had to get back to y'all. Too many DMs, too many questions. Where did you go? Why did you leave? Um, you know, a lot has happened over this last year. And I've been doing some amazing things. All is well here. Family is good. Everything is amazing on this front. But I had to disconnect to reconnect. And uh, I could tell it was brewing up last year. I could tell after my 100,000 subscriber mark, it was just something that was just bubbling inside me. Like, what, what is this? What, are you, what's, what, do you, what, do you, what do you have to give um, when you start to feel that pressure of like, what am I, is, this, is this what I should be doing? Should I be doing other things? There's so many other opportunities, right? So what have I been up to over these last 300 days? Let's talk about it. Listen, first and foremost, I had to give myself grace. You know, from trying to do so many things so well, from being a husband, being a father, being a creative, being an educator, being a mentor, so many of these things, trying to do them all great <laughs> in a daily 24 hour period will weigh you down over and over again. And I had to trim the fat. See, I realized trying to do all of these things great had me depleted, had my spirit and my soul depleted because I just didn't have enough every day and it was frustrating the hell out of me. So I had to analyze everything that was in my life, everything that was serving me well and everything that wasn't. And at the bottom of the list was YouTube. YouTube was just sucking the energy out of me and uh, I felt like I'd given everything that I wanted to give in that present time. And so I had to figure out how to get back into myself and replenish my soul, replenish my spirit so that I have more to give to this community. Second thing I had to do was get right with my body and my spirit. Listen, for the past year, I've been walking. I've been doing a lot of meditation. I've been doing a lot of swimming. I've been doing a lot of focusing on my nutrition. I had to make sure as I'm starting to get better and trying to be able to tackle more for myself and my family that I put the energy first for my own personal development. Um, and that takes time. And what I mean by time is being thankful every morning, being inspired every morning, finding something that's insightful, meditating and exercising. I do it every day, regardless of what's going on, regardless if I'm on vacation or whatever, I'm getting myself right so that I can give it back to my community, to my family and everything else. You know, my apologies if I let anybody down by just dropping off the face of the earth like this. But man, sometimes you got to focus on yourself first. First thing I did was start reading. Well, not really reading. <laughs> Let me be real. Listening to audiobooks. I've listened to more audiobooks in this last year than I have in my entire life. Man, it's been such a game changer to, uh, you know, focus more on bettering myself, giving myself more discipline, giving myself more consistency in training my thought, training my mind. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, it's, get, it's done wonders for my peace. It's done wonders for just being inspired and constantly trying to better myself. See, another thing that I've learned uh, from taking this break is realizing how many tools I've sharpened in my toolbox just by being on YouTube, being able to relate to others, being able to communicate better, being able to speak better. Man, from uh, setting up new businesses to working with institutions to setting up new, new brand sponsorships to being a better mentor, um, all that, and then, you know, becoming the president of the Recording Academy for Atlanta. All of this is because I've been a little bit more confident every day when I, you know, started on my YouTube journey and started really acquiring all these skills. It's amazing. Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? It's amazing how many great tools you can acquire by just getting in front of a camera and speaking to the world year and year out. Man, it's been awesome. But I knew to be able to apply this in the real world is the true test. And <laughs> your boy passing with flying colors. Let's go. Real talk, I wanna let y'all know that I don't take any of y'all for granted. Um, I know you subscribe to me for a reason, you follow me for a reason, and I appreciate you. Um, you know, I just think that there's times in our lives where we need to press pause. And, uh, you know, every good athlete, every good musician, uh, they take time, you know, they take time. There's an off season. There's a time to recalibrate. There's a time to disconnect, to reconnect. 
And uh, that's just what I had to do for these past 300 days. And I'll tell you, man, it's been um, something I feel like a lot of people need to do. Maybe not for this long, right? But uh, I'll tell you, um, it does wonders for, for your mental health and for your spirit. And, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, if people really follow you for you, uh, they'll continue to show up when you come back. But over this last year, I'm telling you, what I miss the most is this community. Being able to respond to y'all, being able to reconnect with y'all. And uh, letting you know that, you know, I still have more to share. I think what a lot of YouTubers go through is trying to figure out the right content to serve their audience. And, uh, you know, whether it's certain products or certain services or just certain ideas that they're bringing, um, you can get lost in just trying to keep up with the rat race, just trying to keep up with, you know, making sure that you're doing things for the algorithm and not the audience. Um, and I didn't want to I didn't want to do that. Uh, I just didn't want to do it. I didn't want to have to um, continuously check, you know, my retention rates and all the things and, you know, checking to make sure that, you know, people were, were really, you know, admiring and, 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 and really you know, viewing my stuff the way I would like. That continuously will get into your head and seep into your spirit and make you feel like you're never doing enough. And, you know, you have to put so much more time and effort to get the results that you want. So I just took a step back and said, okay, let, let's just see what happens. Let's see how my spirit and my mental state feels when I, uh, when I let this go for a little bit. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm better than ever because I'm not so much focused on all the things that we as YouTubers stress out about every single day. I had to let that go because I could tell I was getting burnt out. And when I get burnt out, I know I'm not giving quality content. So yeah, man, I'm back and uh, I'm ready to share some new ideas, some new experiences and, uh, you know, I focus more on just creating the content that I feel like my audience would get a uh, get something out of. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I have a lot of things that I've been experimenting with musically, a lot of new things that I've been experimenting with, you know, from a video standpoint and a whole lot of things that I've been really taking in from a spiritual and a motivational point. So expect all of those as we move forward. Um, and take your breaks. Give yourself grace. And know that, uh, you know, this thing is here. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's here for a reason. YouTube's here for a reason. It's to be able to share your ideas and your experiences. But take your time. Don't, don't get into that rat race to the point where you're uh, missing out on true real-life connections, true real-life moments with your family and your friends and, uh, you know, true real life moments with yourself. So with all that being said, I want to give a special shout out to my man, Corb Master. He's one of my hentees. He is also one of my Patreon members. And uh, he's been going and grinding and doing his thing for a long time. And uh, he's been doing amazing things with his podcast. And he's on his 100th episode. And uh, he's featuring your boy. And so we had a great conversation. Make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description. And uh, it should be coming out very, very soon. And so look out for that. Look out for new things, new topics, and a new inspiration coming from your boy. I'm glad to be back. Let's get back to it. And uh, thank you all for sticking with me. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. And I'm out.